So third graders here at Central School are traveling the world using Mystery Skype and Skype lessons. We are Skyping with schools in different parts of the country and the students need to determine their location by asking them geography questions. Does your, does your state border the Pacific Ocean? Yes. So during Mystery Skype, each child has a specific job to do. We have data collectors that write down questions that we ask the other school, as well as that questions that they ask us. We also have mappers and Google mappers that use the maps to help determine the location by eliminating states. We have a supervisor that walks around to make sure that everyone's doing their job. We have questioners that ask the questions on camera, as well as answers that answer the questions that they ask us. We also have some students that act as runners between the different jobs to communicate what each group is doing. So far we have had about 10 mystery Skypes. We've visited Virginia, we've visited Alabama a couple of times, we've done Wyoming, Oklahoma, Florida, uh, South Africa, and Kenya. I've always had a passion for using technology in the classroom and trying to get my students to become more global citizens and understand the diversity in the world and help to foster respect for different cultures and different communities within our own country. Um, in social studies, part of our curriculum is learning about other communities and the geography and how it affects where people live. And this sort of helps the students learn about them personally, where they get to talk to the other students on camera and learn about them. What part of California are you in? The state bug is a honeybee, the state fish is a brook trout, and the state vegetable is a tomato. Our governor is Chris Christie. The excitement and the enthusiasm that the students have for it, and also it's challenge-based, so it really makes the students excited. And I think one of the great things about it is I don't participate in the actual Mystery Skype. It's the students' jobs to work together as a team to problem solve and figure it out. So I sort of let them, you know, go with it. So that kind of eliminated that one. Does your state border the Pacific Ocean? They said yes, and then are you in California? So one, two, three, four, five questions. Is that a record? No. What's our record? Four. 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 So it took us five questions this time, but great job. They love it, they get very excited about it, and they're always hoping that it's a state that we haven't yet done, and they're hoping that you know we can do more with uh, different countries, which is you know often difficult because of time differences, um, but they love everything about it. I think nowadays we hear so much about children and their geography skills and how they may be lacking, and this is a fun way for students to learn geography skills and obviously get better at geography and also understand the world around them in a real way as opposed to just out of a textbook. Everybody should try Skyping in the classroom. It's a lot of fun. So I'm going to put up a yeah, Skype, and they said they were in Los Angeles, California, which is in the southern part of California, so I'm going to put it down here. And I will get a piece of string and attach that. So now not only do some of us have pen pals in California, but now we also have a mystery Skype. So we add that to our map. Bye. Bye.